Three Cancer Center hosted its Cancer Survivor Day earlier today. And WENY's Lindsay Madison went to the event to speak with survivors and learn more about what they do to live a healthy life after treatment. Lindsay. Alexandra, I went to the event at Tioga Downs Event Center in Nichols. Dozens of cancer survivors and their loved ones were honored and celebrated today. I spoke with a woman who overcame breast cancer. She talks about what living with survivor's guilt was like until now. The event was hosted at the Tioga Downs Event Center and was a way for people to connect with other cancer survivors and share their experiences. People also enjoyed lunch with their loved ones, entered the raffles, and listened to a couple of guest speakers. One of the speakers was there to motivate guests because he's a cancer survivor too. You gotta try hard. It's not gonna be given to you. You gotta think about what you're doing, you gotta think about your future, and you gotta think about your family. Kevin Folker said he was healthy and would go to the gym constantly. That is, until five years ago, when he was diagnosed with cancer. During his speech, he and the other two guest speakers emphasized the importance of a healthy diet and exercise. And your diet is important, too. Being a diabetic, you have to control your diet. You can't let it get out of control, otherwise you'll end up with a lot more problems other than diabetes and cancer. Pam Beebe is a breast cancer survivor. She said this was her first time attending the event, but not because she hadn't heard about it. It was because some of her family members had died of cancer. My aunt had breast cancer. She died. My husband died. My brother died. Everybody died, and I'm the only survivor. So maybe that's why I ended up with survivor guilt. But now, Beebe doesn't feel guilty anymore. She said earlier this year, she decided it was time to start celebrating life. I feel, I feel different. I felt a, a real heaviness there for a long, long, for years. Like I said, I've dealt with it for eight years, and this is the first year it's like, you know it's time to celebrate and not be feeling guilty about being here. Now, as you heard at the end, everyone got to ring these tiny bells. Those were used as a celebration of being active and doing things that they enjoy. And this is similar to cancer patients when they finish treatment. At the end, they get to ring a bell, signaling they're cancer-free.